breaking dem treason scandal discovered entire party on verge of collapse. The corrupt media is attempting to cover up one of the biggest scandals in American history to help protect their friends in the Democrat Party. Former chair of the Democrat National Committee, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, should be in hot water after her IT staffer was caught wiring $300,000 in ill-gotten gains to his home country of Pakistan before attempting to flee the country, according to the Daily Caller. The enormous scandal would typically be too big for the media to ignore. However, since it hurts Democrats, it is not no, uh, worthy of mainstream attention. Instead, President Trump's tweets and staffing changes in the Oval Office have dominated headlines as the media tries desperately to cover for the man behind the curtain. When the press does comment on the major scandal, they reliably downplay the close relationship between Democrats and the Pakistani fraudsters. Imran Awan, a Pakistani national and former IT staffer for Debbie uh, Wasserman Schultz and other Democrats, was arrested late last month attempting to flee the country heading for Pakistan. Imran has been under FBI investigation for months over alleged bank and mortgage fraud. Imran's wife was able to escape the country weeks before her husband with the help of Wasserman Schultz. In February, Capitol Police rescinded Imran's access to house computers over concerns that he was stealing classified information and was sending it to an unknown source. Debbie Wasserman Schultz continued to employ the IT staffer despite his lack of access to any IT. Many are assuming that Wasserman Schultz has been blackmailed by Imran since he has access to all of her passwords and data. Wasserman Schultz's office only fired Imran after he was arrested. They knew he was traveling to Pakistan for at least six months and would be unable to perform his duties. Yet, the Florida Congresswoman was planning to pay his salary despite his complete lack of access and authorization. Something big is going down in the Democrat Party and the mainstream media is completely covering for their close friends. Any reports about Imran are focused on Islamophobia, accusing publications like this of racism for reporting on one of the largest scandals in modern politics. I mean, is it absurd? It's totally absurd, and the dumb liberals are backing these people up. But I don't think there's so many dumbed-down people as, as they want to portray that there are as that many dumb people. There are a few, yes, but this is unbelievable. Meanwhile, the mainstream media is continually twisting the story, looking into Russian collusion when the, this that is taking place is uh, a serious offense to even American uh, being, being able to withstand the damage that has been done through these, uh, this IT worker who had been hired by the Democratic Party. Now, who's behind all of this? I think it stems all the way back to Obama. Obama, that I'm thinking, is the one who hired all these people and allowed them to get into, into office and positions in order to take down America. And I remember watching a video a couple of months ago, this was before I started doing these videos, where Obama gave a speech um, and he said, the end of the Republic never looked so good. And you had the, the people in the audience laughing as it was a joke. 
Do you know he was telling people to their face what he was doing to America? And the people are laughing and looking at Trump as if Trump is the traitor? Trump is um, American. He's not a Muslim. And the information that was being transferred that compromised America was being transferred to the Muslim Brotherhood. Obama has infiltrated the whole um, the whole uh, judicial system with with uh, with all these traitors in there. So let us know what you think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.